New cars that expect to serve as basic transportation actually have a really difficult job. They need to be fuel efficient, durable, safe, and ideally comfortable and at least a little bit cool, all for the smallest amount of money that an automaker can possibly charge. Hyundai's Accent has proved an excellent starter car for years, and with this new and more refined 2018 model, the company hopes to raise basic transportation to a slightly more elevated level. How does it look? I think the hexagonal grille and chunky lighting elements look better here than similar styling does on the bigger Elantra. And the 17-inch wheels give a sportier profile to this limited trim tester than do the smaller wheel options. The back is a lot more anonymous looking and bland, however. How's the storage? Hyundai has 86, the Accent hatchback for this model year, which means we're left with the sedan and this 13.7 cubic foot trunk. Now that's a little bit bigger than what you'll find in the Ford Fiesta sedan, but it's smaller than the trunk on the segment leading Nissan Versa sedan. And it's still smaller than what you'll get with competitively priced subcompact hatchbacks, because hatchbacks are awesome. Your basics are covered here. Two cup holders, a nice big tray in front of the shift lever, and some bonus space under the armrest and in the door pockets. Is it roomy? I was happily surprised at the amount of legroom and headroom, even with a power sunroof, for the driver. The width of the seat leaves a little bit to be desired, but hey, at least there's a center armrest. The back seats are pretty cramped though. Unless you've got short people sitting behind other short people, they're best avoided. How does the interior feel? <sighs> now, to be honest, I expected a lot worse from a black and gray subcompact interior. But this patterning on the seats adds just a little bit of flair and there's just enough metallic in front of me to break up the black plastic. Is it well equipped? My test car is the top level limited trim with just one option, carpeted floor mats. For basic transportation, this accent does get some features to make the car more livable. The six speed automatic transmission will doubtless be a popular selection and the power sunroof, leather wrapped steering wheel and seven inch touchscreen are great too. It just got really cold here in Michigan, so I'm especially thankful for the heated seats. How's the infotainment system? Especially in this budget class, the best thing an automaker can offer for infotainment is a reasonably sized screen and available Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Check and check. Is it a good daily driver? Well, as you can no doubt see from the camera that's mounted over our front wheel, daily driving can mean a totally different thing in Michigan in the winter time than it does a lot of other places. It's hard to tell when I'm driving through all this crap, but on faster, cleaner roads, you can definitely tell that one of Hyundai's core values has trickled down to the accent, and that's to make the interior experience as sanguine as possible. It really is pretty quiet at speed. Beyond that, I suppose it'd be best to describe the daily driving experience as pretty average. The Accent just doesn't do a whole lot to stand out in terms of comfort or convenience, even relative to other cars in this class. Is it fun to drive? Now, again, our little bit of snow is quickly turning into a blizzard and that can be its own kind of fun, but let's talk about what the uh, uh, Accent is like to drive in the dry, right? There's 130 horsepower and 119 pound-feet of torque coming from this 1.6 liter four, and that's connected up to a six-speed automatic gearbox. Now, while those power figures are actually very competitive for the class, there's not a lot done to accentuate it. The steering weight is nice, but it's really pretty vague. There's not a lot of feel coming from the, the tires. And overall, the, the suspension response just feels a little bit dull and lifeless too. How's the fuel economy? For all that Hyundai has worked hard to target the needs of the cheap car buyer, you'd think the fuel economy would be a stronger suit. But the truth is that the Accent's 38 miles per gallon highway, 28 city, and 32 combined lag behind all the top competitors in the class. Honda, Toyota, and Nissan all do better at the pump. How much is it? 
The accent range starts at $14,995, which is obviously hyper affordable. The limited trim card jumps up to $18,895, a price at which I'm starting to look at the better driving, more practical hatchback entries like the Honda Fit and Nissan Versa Note. What are the negatives? Hyundai is gonna struggle to get frugal buyers excited about the Accent with its relatively poor fuel economy numbers. And even though the powertrain is stronger than many in this class, the Accent doesn't do a lot to make it exciting on the road. Who should buy it? Accent matches affordable pricing, especially in the mid-level trims, with a mega 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. For drivers looking for affordable peace of mind, you'll be hard-pressed to do any better. 